If Allah were to aid you, there's no possibility of anybody overcoming you. Anybody overcoming you. And the first condition of that is the believer has to believe that the help of Allah will come. The believer has to be positive. You know, I'll give you a scenario. I'll, make, I'll, I'll show you a movie scene. Not a real movie, relax. Okay, let me astaghfirullah, I'm leaving. No, relax. I'll make up a movie for you. So on the one hand, there's an army. Very powerful. Millions of soldiers. And on the other hand, there's one guy. And this whole army approaches this, how many guys? One, he's not, doesn't even have a weapon. He doesn't even have a weapon. And he's smiling. And he comes to the general of the army and he says, if you know what's good for you, you will turn around and run away. And the entire army is laughing like, <laughs> this guy, we could crush him with one horse. What's he talking about? Except they don't know that he controls airstrikes. <clears throat> and they're watching him from satellite. And they can drop bombs on the entire army right there. Laser precise. They have no idea. Why is this guy not nervous? He doesn't have to have an army behind him because he has an army where? Above. Above. You can't even see it. Well, you know what? We don't have. We don't have to have an army behind us. Where's our army? <laughs> Nobody knows the armies of Allah except Him. When you stand by the word of Allah, then the forces of Allah are behind you. وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا Why would you think you're alone? That's a matter of iman. That's a matter, that's the kind of belief we're supposed to have. That's how positive we're supposed to be. That we can battle anything. We can withstand any pressure. There's nothing. All of that is nothing to Allah. If you were to place your reliance upon Allah Almighty as it should be done, he will provide for you the same way He provides for the bird. The bird leaves in the morning hungry, it comes back in the evening with food. We have never heard of a bird that comes back in the evening hungry. It goes out hungry, it relies upon Allah, Allah feeds it. Rely upon Allah Almighty. And one of the most remarkable stories, Ya Ikhwani, I have heard with this regards, is a story of a woman who lives in the city of Mansura in Egypt. A lady who said, that I came from a very poor family. <clears throat> and her husband was absent for one reason or another. And she said, my daughter became very ill on one particular evening and she began to fever like never before. And I could do nothing for her, I have no money for food. We spent that evening hungry, let alone buy her medication. And I would pray two rak'at to Allah Almighty, two units, and call upon Him and attend to my daughter. And pray and call and place my trust in Him and call to my daughter. Attend to my daughter. And the hours would pass, it was now midnight, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, then they hear a knock on the door. Who is it? It's the doctor. It's the doctor. So the lady, she puts on her hijab. She opens the door. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Where is the girl? He says. The lady, she says, she's in the room. Allahu Akbar, who sent him? He comes into the room, he checks her, prescribes for her medication, and then leaves the house, and he says, payment please. Payment. And the woman began to cry. She said, doctor, I don't have anything to pay you with. He said, what do you mean? How rude of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you have any shyness? You call me in this late hour of the night to attend to your daughter, and you know you have no wealth to pay me. She said, Doctor, Wallahi, I didn't call you. I don't even have enough money to buy a phone. We haven't even eaten this evening. He said to her, what do you mean you didn't call me? Is this not door number such and such? She said, no, that's the door next door. The doctor, he began to weep. Because he understood that this was Allah who sent him their way. He said, please, let me go back inside. What is your story? Who are you? How did this happen? And she explained the story. He understood. So he bought them food for that evening. And he went and he purchased and delivered the medication himself. And he gave her a monthly wage as well. Man الَّذِي سَأَلَ اللَّهَ فَلَمْ 
ومن ذا الذي دعا الله فلم يجبه ومن ذا الذي توكل عليه فلم يكفه أليس الله بكاف عبده بلى وربي and I'm sure that if I ask any one of these brothers to mention a similar story, you could. When you needed Allah, you had nobody to ask but Him, and you were given.